Today I'm going to discuss what is cyclomatic complexity, what are the effects of high cyclomatic complexity on your code, how to calculate cyclomatic complexity, and how cyclomatic complexity can be effectively managed with Helix QAC. So let's start by defining what is cyclomatic complexity. Cyclomatic complexity is a metric for software quality developed by Thomas J. McCabe Sr. and refers to the number of linearly independent paths through a program's source code. The higher the number, the more complex the code. And the more complex the code, the more likely it will have defects, be difficult to test, be difficult to read, and of course be difficult to maintain. Simply put, complex code is unreliable, inefficient, and of low quality. And that is why measuring cyclomatic complexity is important, so you can lower it, if necessary, and improve the quality. Now let's move on to how you can calculate cyclomatic complexity. To calculate the cyclomatic complexity, use this formula, which is E minus N plus 2P, where E refers to the number of edges or transfers of control, N refers to the number of nodes or sequential groups of statements containing only one transfer of control, and P refers to the number of disconnected parts of the flow graph, such as a calling program or a subroutine. This equation represents the number of decisions plus one. In addition, binary decisions, such as if and while statements, add one to complexity. While Boolean operators can add either one or nothing to the complexity. So for example, one may be added if a Boolean operator is found within a conditional statement. So code with cyclomatic complexity between one and 10 is considered to be clean, testable, effective and manageable code. Whilst beyond 10, the risk of defects greatly increases. To help you better understand what cyclomatic complexity is, here is an example. So take a moment to look over the code. Okay, uh, here is what you should have come up with. As there is a Boolean operator, there are two decisions making the cyclomatic complexity three. There are variations of the cyclomatic complexity that you should be aware of as well, such as the Myers interval. The Myers interval is an extension of cyclomatic complexity and accounts for the complexity caused by compound predicates. It uses cyclomatic complexity as its lower bound. The upper bound is defined as the total number of conditions in the code plus one. It is presented as two values separated by cyclomatic complexity colon the number of logical operators. To help you better understand how to use the Myers interval, here is another example. Take a moment to review the code. Okay, and here is what you should have come up with. It's cyclomatic complexity is three, and there is one connective used in the conditions. So it's Myers interval cyclomatic complexity is three colon four. Manual reviews of cyclomatic complexity can be time consuming process that is vulnerable to human error. However, with a static analyzer tool, such as Helix QAC, the process is quick, efficient and error free. Helix QAC makes it easy for you to track and monitor the cyclomatic complexity of your code base over the entire lifecycle of your project. For example, on the metric trend graph we can see at the bottom of our screen, we can see how much work is required to bring the cyclomatic complexity down to an acceptable value. Now let's move on to the final tab and take a look at our custom reports. 
starting with the metric trend table, we can configure this uh, so we can see how our functions have been trending over all uploads. Or we can limit this to just the most recent. Now, if we scroll down to the metric threshold table, we can see the minimum and maximum thresholds for each given function and which ones are exceeding the limits. Moving now to the function structure diagram, we have a graphical representation of all the decision points in each function. This can help reduce your function's complexity once you've identified where there appears to be duplicated code. And once that has been refactored, it will make your code a lot easier to maintain. Finally, let's view the Helix QAT desktop GUI to see our custom messages where our complexity has exceeded 10. So these diagnostics appear in green to stand out from the standard Helix QAC diagnostics and make it quick and easy to identify your custom messages. Managing cyclomatic complexity is just one example of how Helix QAC makes it easy to effectively manage your code base. If you're interested in learning more about Helix QAC, sign up for our next live demo.